Hi there, and welcome to JCB Tools. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at our range of ETEC batteries and battery chargers. So we come with a standard battery charger, and we have various sizes of batteries available. Just check out our website. With that said, I'm going to go through how to charge the batteries, how it works, what the lights mean, that sort of thing. And of course, these batteries and chargers will go alongside your typical ETEC tools that come from JCB as well. So obviously, if you've got the batteries, you've got the charger, you're going to want our range of bare tools. But today, we're just going to look at the battery and charger. Okay, so I've opened the boxes. Let's see what's inside. So first of all, we have the charger here. Okay, there's your charger. Little instruction manual that comes with it. Put that box to one side. Again, battery in its box. Little manual that comes with the battery. And this one is a five amp hour battery. So with that said, we do recommend that you read the user manual before use. So the JCB E-Tech range of batteries come in two, three, four, and five amp variations. This one happens to be the largest to five amp. And you'll see it has this slot configuration on the top. So to fit them to the charger, we've got the openings here. We've got the pins on the charger. We put it on that way around. You'll see it just slid down into place and push it in firmly. There's no click, just push it down to the bottom. Okay, so as you'd expect, the unit does come with a standard UK series 13 amp plug, which can be plugged into any standard domestic ring main outlet. So first of all, let's just go through the little lights. There is a guide here, but I'll explain it for you. First of all, the red light on the top here basically means that the unit's plugged in. So if I switch it off on the wall, you'll see the light goes off when it's plugged in and live. There you are, the red light is on. So when I plug the battery in, what I'd expect to see is the red light on and the green light to start flashing. And that means that the battery is charging. So I'll just do that, place the battery in, push it down, green light's flashing. That now means that the battery is charging. Okay, so I haven't got another scenario that I can do right here. When it's 100% charged, the red light will go out and the green light will become static. So permanently on instead of flashing. So when you see a solid green light, that means the battery's fully charged. If at any point you don't see the green light and you see the red light flashing on its own, that means that there's basically the battery is too hot. So if you have a high power draw tool and your battery gets hot during use, and then you try and charge it when it's flat immediately, it may be a little bit warm and it's protecting itself. So you'll see on the gauge here, it says that it's over 40 degrees. And that pretty much means that it's going to wait for it to cool before it starts charging. So basically take the battery out, let it cool for half an hour or so, put it back in and off you go again. If you ever see both lights flashing, which I hope you never do, that means that there is a problem with the battery itself. So obviously we need to see what condition the battery's in, whether we need to charge them or not before use in case we're working away from home or a charger. So there's a scale on the back here of four LED lights. And if we push this button, as I can see, this one, push it again, one red light means it's in need of charge. Hence why when I put it on the charger, we saw the red light solid and a flashing green light. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit jcbtools.co.uk. I've been Adrian and thank you for watching.